Well, I wanted to do a review of the American Hotel, the High Hostel in Seattle, located at 520 South King Street, just two blocks uh, from the tra Amtrak train station and one block from the Metro train station. Very nice uh, location, right by the Chinatown gate, entering into Chinatown. Uh, I've never stayed at a hostel before. And obviously taking one look at me, you notice it can't be a youth hostel because uh, they allowed me in. Believe it or not, some hostels won't allow people over a certain age in. But American Hotel High Hostel let me in. Uh, why did I stay at a hostel? Well, for the obvious reason, I wanted to save some money. If you look at the hotel rates for Seattle, Washington, you know, they're, they're way, they're ridiculous, okay? Plain old ridiculous. Like, I'd have to spend like $300 a night uh, to get a place at High Hostel. Uh, I opted for a private room with an in-suite bathroom. Uh, hopefully you saw that video. Uh, and it was a hundred and, I'm going to say $3,537 a night when you factor in taxes and fees and all that good stuff. So that's way less than $300 a night. And with the money I saved, I ate like a king at uh, the Masushi uh, Japanese restaurant next door and across the street, the Chinese restaurant and down the road, the Thai restaurant. As uh, far as I'm concerned, all that food was free because I saved it by not blowing it on a hotel room. Not only was that free, but I didn't have to pay an Uber to take me from the airport or or, or the uh, train station to the $300 a night hotel. So I saved that Uber money. Uh, so it was a money saving, money saving thing for me to stay there. Now the hostel, you saw the video. The building is old. It's probably every bit as old as I am, if not older. However, it's functional and it looks safe and well-maintained, reasonably well-maintained. Uh, you know, basic bed to sleep on. It was a comfortable bed. I slept well. The bathroom had all the facility, you know, everything you needed in the bathroom. Uh, the shower, there's a dispenser there for body soap and shampoo. And it was bone dry. Other than that, you know, it would have been nice if I known that before I hit the shower, because then I would have brought my own product in the shower with me. But by then I was dripping wet and didn't feel like getting out and, and sorting through my luggage looking for soap and shampoo and those items. So I just took a, a, a wet wash uh, to myself that day. <coughs> Excuse me. But I enjoyed the hostel. Uh, you know, I ordered some Thai food and I had leftovers. Well, and same thing with the Chinese food the night before. Well, they have a communal kitchen. And you just uh, label your bag uh, with your name and the date that you put it in there. And apparently, you know, when it's like a week or so old, they toss it out uh, and put it in that communal refrigerator. It's a great big refrigerator, so there's room for everyone's things. When you're ready to eat, they have all the dishes, they have all the silverware, they have all the pots and pans, uh, just put, Put your food out on a plate and heat it up in one of the three microwaves. You have three microwaves. You have three range top stoves. Uh, so obviously, you know, if you want to cook, you could you could cook a full meal there. And, and I was quite impressed with that. Uh, in addition to that, they had a very nice laundry room. So if you needed to do laundry, you could do it right there too. And the price I thought on the laundry machines was very reasonable. It was $2.25 per wash, $2.25 per dry, uh, which is considerably cheaper than it is here on the ship, let me tell you that. 
overall, the hostel was fun. I enjoyed it. I thought I'd be the only old fart there. Not so. I, I'm sure I was the oldest fart there. But there was plenty of uh, over 40s and over 50s there from the looks of things. So, uh, you know, I didn't feel out of, out of place among a bunch of 20-year-old young, 20 youngsters. I would gladly do a hostel again. So I had no problems. Uh, I, I enjoyed my time there, the two nights I spent there. So if you're looking for a cheap alternative to housing in Seattle when you come for a visit, check out the American Hotel High Hostel, 520 South King Street, uh, right by the Chinatown Gate. And I think you'll like it. Uh, tell them that Eric sent you sent you, and they won't know what the heck you're talking about. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.